I'm Tanmay, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot issues when connecting to an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance using EC2 Instance Connect. Let's get started. When you try to log in to an EC2 instance using EC2 Instance Connect, you might experience the following error message. There was a problem setting up the instance connection login field. If this instance has just started up, try again in a minute or two. In this video, I'm going to show you four troubleshooting steps for when you see this message. Verify that EC2 Instance Connect supports your instance Linux distribution. Verify that your supported instance has the EC2 Instance Connect package installed. Verify that the AWS Identity and Access Management user trying to use EC2 Instance Connect has permissions to push the public key to the instance. Verify that the Instance Security Group rules list EC2 Instance Connect IPs. Before we begin, note that because you cannot connect to the instance by using EC2 Instance Connect, you must make sure that you can connect to the instance by using SSH. Step 1. First check if the instance is using the supported Linux OS distribution. EC2 Instance Connect is only supported on any version of Amazon Linux 2 or on Ubuntu 16 and later versions. You can check the OS distribution by connecting to the instance using SSH and then entering the following command. In this example, my instance has Ubuntu as its OS distribution. Step 2. Verify that the supported instance is installed with EC2 Instance Connect package. To verify or install EC2 Instance Connect package, enter the following command. The command for Amazon Linux 2 is sudo yum install ec2 instance connect. And the command for Ubuntu is sudo apt install ec2 instance connect. Because I'm using Ubuntu, I ran the apt command to install the package. Step 3. Verify that the IAM user trying to use EC2 Instance Connect has permission to push the public key to the instance. Go to the AWS Management Console and navigate to the IAM Console. Go to Users and then choose the user that you want to use for EC2 Instance Connect. Check the Attached Policies in Permissions tab. There should be policy attached with Action EC2 Instance Connect Send SSH Public Key. In addition to that, this action should be allowed on the desired instance that you want to connect to. If not, you can create a policy for that Go to Policies, choose Create Policy. I have already made a JSON snippet to enter. For more information, refer to the Associated Knowledge Center article. Make sure to enter the region, account ID, and resource ID into these fields. Make sure to enter the correct OS user as well. Choose Next tag, followed by Next Review, name the policy, and then choose Create Policy. Then go to Users and choose the user to use for EC2 Instance Connect. Then choose Add Permissions. Select Attach Existing Policies directly and search for the policy that you just created. Select the policy and choose Next Review. Then choose Add Permissions. This is how you can add permissions to the user you are using 
for EC2 instance connect. Then step 4. For browser based EC2 instance connect, verify that the instance security group inbound rules allow EC2 instance connect access to SSH on TCP port 22. Please note in the following commands, replace US East 1 with the AWS region of your instance. To find the AWS IP address range for EC2 instance connect in a specific region, use the following command in Linux. Note your Linux environment should have curl and jq packages installed to run this command. If you are using Windows PowerShell for AWS, use the following command to get the AWS IP address range for EC2 instance connect in a specific region. Then go to the AWS management console and navigate to the EC2 console. Go to the instances. Select the instance to connect to by using EC2 instance connect and then choose the security tab. Choose the security group ID. To check details for the security group, verify that the IP address range written by the curl command references port 22. If not, choose edit inbound rules. Then choose add rule to add a rule for type TCP port 22 with the source as the IP range written by the curl command. Go ahead and choose save rules. In addition to these points, browser based EC2 instance connect is supported only when the instance has public IP. If the instance doesn't have a public IP, then you can connect to the instance by using EC2 instance connect command line interface from a machine within the same virtual private cloud. To configure EC2 Instance Connect command line interface, connect to any instance within VPC using SSH. In this video, I am using Amazon Linux 2. Install Python 3 using the command sudo yum install hyphen y python 37. Then install PIP by using this command. Install EC2 Instance Connect CLI using PIP3 install EC2 Instance Connect CLI. Finally, try to connect to the instance by entering the following command. Because I am connecting to my Ubuntu instance, the command looks like this. Note, make sure you are using the correct user, instance ID and region in this command. For example, for Amazon Linux 2, you can use the user EC2 user. Now you know how to troubleshoot issues regarding EC2 instance connect while connecting to an EC2 instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.